In this week's episode, we have plenty of globes. Some of them may be golden and some may not. Gotta keep watching. I'm BB Hunter and welcome to The Rundown. It's award season and the 2015 Golden Globes went down here in LA last Sunday. You've seen the red carpet footage, but what happens after the trophies are passed out and the speeches are done? Celebs party, of course. Jennifer Lopez switched things up for the after party and changed into an all-white Amanda Wakely spring 2015 outfit. I only like this look a smidge more than her red carpet gown, which I was just not feeling. While JLo rarely disappoints with her everyday wear, I, I just remain unmoved by her red carpet attire. She just keeps on giving us variations of her iconic Versace dress. And we get it, J.Lo. You can do a deep V and a thigh-high slit better than anyone in the game. But I'm tired of seeing it. I just hope she steps it up for the remainder of awards season. If you want to make a statement, what better color choice to do it in than red? Rita Ora showed up and out in this scarlet Zach posing gown that features a very flattering, unconventional neckline. She flawlessly accompanied the dress with a red matching lip, jeweled clutch, and crystal studs. This look is BFF approved. Right, Cara? Maggie Q came to party in this gorged tasseled halter dress, and she had a statement-making moment in more than one way. For the first time, her and her beau, Dylan McDermott, stepped out as a couple, and she dazzled. Her beautiful dress exposed its sheerness as she moved creating a subtle sexiness that was both unique and stylistic. As my pick for look of the week clearly shows, I was drawn to the ladies who went for something a little unorthodox this time around. And Tia Mari gave me all types of high fashion goodness in this daring Ellery look. I know the sleeves are a little out there, so before you criticize my pick, hear me out. Lately, Tia has been stepping it all the way up on the fashion scene, and both her and her husband look amazing in these shots. I mean, some of these pics look like they belong in a magazine. I guess she was clearly tired of being glossed over in her run-of-the-mill style choices. So she has ditched the plain Jane stuff and gone full throttle with her fashion game. A step up? I think so. And she deserves a look of the week and some applause. Rarely do models get it wrong, but Alessandra Ambrosio proved that she doesn't know jack about choosing the correct undergarments. And when putting clothes on is what you do for a living, I cannot give this a pass. Her panties are far too light to have been worn with this see-through dress. It draws your eyes straight to her crotch. This Victoria's Secret angel should be ashamed. She has definitely earned herself the WTF of the week. Up on the chopping block for voting this week is Amber Rose. Honestly, her style has just not been the same post Kanye. And when I saw her in this dress, while it's definitely better than most of the stuff I've seen her in as of late, I wasn't too impressed. It's nice, but there's something that's off. Maybe she didn't realize that white is not a shrinking color because her globes are on full display and they distract you from the rest of the look. Either way, I'm not here to decide, you are. Let me know if you think this look is stylistic or stale. Click those voting buttons on lilybuzz.com or let me know in the comments on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. I can't wait to bring you another video next week. Until next time, stay fashionable, my friends.